Hey you guys, it is I, Gideon Joshua Parker, and I am here to tell the truth on some subject matter concerning politics. Yeah, I know it's been said Christians shouldn't quote unquote speak out about politics, end quote. But you know what? We should speak out about politics because if we don't When they woke him up this morning who he saw will something help on something um, seen on his mind. Right. His eyes were cold and distant, and his spirit was on Actively vote according to the word of God, the right people into office, and have the wrong people removed from office while praying that the right ones would be in there and just taking action and voting them in. Anyway, that's a different story for a different time. What I'm coming at you about right now is this. What happened to all the Trump haters now? They seem to be disappearing one by one by one by one by one. Because we're now seeing that, um, he's not my president, by the way. I would never call him that. Mr. Joe Biden. Let's call him that. is not doing such a great job at being president of the United States of America. So, not to bash him or anything, but that being said, I guess now more Trump supporters are coming out of the rafters, so to speak. More people are wanting Trump back in office. But you know what? I said this with no regrets whatsoever. And I plead about these on myself and over everyone else that agrees with me on this. I boldly support President Donald J. Trump getting back in the office one day. And Jesus saying, God willing, God's will will be done concerning that potentially happening. Who knows? But in the meantime, Saints of God, we must pray for Mr. Joe Biden. Because let's just face it, he doesn't seem like he's all that coherent right now. And he needs us to pray for him. Because he's acting as though he has dementia and he didn't get cleared to be president by his own doctor. So that says a lot right there. Plus, we need to pray because... Former President Barack Obama and Miss Locker Brother Up herself. That's right. You heard it from me. Um, well, anyway. Kamala Harris. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Whew. are behind this presidency of him, too. As she's trying to go and steal presidency, Barack Obama is using Mr. Joe Biden like a puppet on strings because that's basically what he is at this point under the quote-unquote tutelage or whatever you want to call it of former President Barack Obama, like a puppet a glorified puppet on spring, strings. Not to bash him in any way. Not to sling mud in any way. It's just, that's what he's being used as though he were. As though he were less than human. And his own wife, Mrs. Jill Biden, knows that her own husband is not coherent enough to be president. But she doesn't care. <coughs> Me, you guys. She's trying to manipulate her own husband and everything. So, yeah, we need to take this into heart and take this before the throne of God, of grace and prayer right now. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this particular edition of the Coco Fans vlog video series, God, and this particular one being a discussion. A late night discussion on um, 
the truth about politics and how it affects Christians today. And Father, I pray that you go and reveal your man in the bush for the presidency. And not only that, because the governmental, governmental officials that would do right by um, our um, nation and <coughs> the presidential cabinet members that would do right by the presidency and by our nation and so on and so forth to be voted in to be sworn in and everything to be officiated and what have you exactly how you have it to be in the direct alignment with your word and I thank you for it in Jesus name God I pray for Mr. Joe Biden God even though he's been acting like he's cold hand for quite some time I pray that you bring healing to his soul above all God you send someone into his life to minister the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ to him to love on him to show him that what true love and real love means, and it's Jesus. He's the epitome of it. He's what it means. And Father, I thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. I love you guys. Bye-bye. Peace out.